do have a video on YouTube on how to make a magic circle easy if you want to see a more detailed video. I believe it is a very good technique to make a magic circle. to the first loop and pull through. Now you have a little circle here that you can use instead of a magic circle. So I'm going to show you another way to do this if you wanted to make a magic circle, you would just make it like a little X and put the needle down like this, like how we did before. Okay, so now you have a loop around your hook and a, and a loop here and yarn over and I'm going to put it into the circle, pull through. And you can, that's how you make a magic circle. So we have done three single crochets into the circle. want to make this circle tighter because we have a big hole here we're just going to pull this and that's pull this and that's going to make the circle tighter now we're going to find the chain of two which is right here and we're going to slip stitch this and we're going to have our magic circle or all our, our alternative circle depending on what you like finished so I'm just pulling this string back here and that makes it tighter. You just work on that a little bit until you get it to this, to a very tight. And then uh, when you got it nice and tight, you're gonna knot this. So we have a nice little circle here 
good to knot this because then it stays in place. And then later on, you can weave in the ends where this knot is, or you can just cut it right at the base. Round two. So you may be wondering how many stitches will be done in this. Well, we did 10 in the first in the circle. So we're going to be going in increments of 10. So round two would be 20. Round, round two, we're going to do 20. And we're going to increase in every stitch. You increase, you're just going to do two single stitches two single crochets in each stitch. That's how you increase. We're going to find our first hit, stitch and we are going to do single crochet. Okay, so I already, so I have one, okay? Now we're going to do two right in the same stitch. And I do have videos on that, on how to make that on how to make a hat with this material. It's so nice and fuzzy and it looks like Angora, but it's not Angora. Okay, so we, we're gonna do another stitch here. And we're just doing single crochet. And we're increasing in every stitch. We are at the end of round two and we need to slip stitch at the end of each round. So you're just gonna put your material in your stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now you have two loops and then you're gonna pull through. So now we have completed our round. Now we're going to do round three and we're going to Increase every other stitch. Increase every other stitch. So for stitch one, I'm going to just do uh, an SC, a single crochet abbreviated. So we're gonna do um, an increase in stitch two. and it increases two stitches, two single crochet in the same stitch. So I'm going to count in increments of two while, while crocheting. So I'm going to count one, two. Two is the number that we do the increase. So now that I've done number two, I'm going to go to this stitch and I'm going to count this next stitch as number one. I also kind of make my hats a lot like this. Okay, so then we're going to do stitch two. And this is where we do our increase. Okay, now we're gonna go back and do the next stitch and we call this stitch one. And we're going to just keep repeating that until we get to the end of the round. Please subscribe to my page, my YouTube page, Tiffany's Crafts and like, so you can hear and see all the updated videos that I make. Okay, and see that this is getting larger now. I'll see you at the end of this round. We are going to begin the second circle for our bookmarker. 
Now, this circle is going to be smaller. So I'm going to do a magic ring, or you can do an alternative circle. So let's start with alternative circle. And we'll start with that, and then I'll take that out, and I'll show you the magic ring. So we're going to like this. So we have a, a loop on our crochet hook, and we're just going to chain three. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Now we're going to find our first stitch, which was here. And we're going to put our needles, our crochet hook through. Pull. We're going to put yarn over. And we're going to pull through. Now, we're going to pull through again. And that's our circle. And we'll be working in a circle. We're going to do five single crochets. Now, if we want to do a magic circle, now the magic circle, when you're done with the circle, the circle in the middle is going to be, should be tight. But with the alternative method, it's not going to be tight. I would suggest the magic circle for this. Okay, so And that's how we begin this. We're going to be working in this circle here. And we're going to do five single crochet. So we're just going to put our needle, our crochet hook in the middle of the circle, yarn over, put your put your crochet hook in the circle. Now we're going to be yarn over and pull through two loops on there. Okay, so we're going to do five of these. So you're going to put your crochet hook in the circle, yarn over, pull through into the circle. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through the two loops on the crochet hook. That's two. And we're going to do three. Four. And then five. Okay, now I'm going to tighten the circle by pulling on this string. And I'm going to have my nail right here at the end of the circle. So I'm going to pull like that. I'm going to pull this string here. That's going to make it tight. And then when we get it to where we like it to look, we'll just knot it. Okay. Round two on the second circle for our bookmark. I have knotted the back of my magic circle or alternative circle and I am ready to begin. We're going to do an increase in every stitch. So that's two stitches in each stitch. We're going to do single crochet. This is American terms. So we're going to go one and two. Now we have done two stitches, two single crochet stitches in one stitch. Okay, and now where my stitch marker is, we are going to do a slip stitch. We do a slip stitch at the end of every round. It kind of locks it in place. Okay, so we're going to begin round three. 
So with the next round, round three, we're going to be doing an increase in every other stitch. So the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to do the first stitch, a single crochet. The second stitch is going to be increased. And then when I get to third stitch, I'm going to count that stitch as number one. Just like how we did before. So we're going to go one, Okay, now stitch number two is going to be your increase. So we're going to do a second single crochet in the stitch, the same stitch. Okay, two. Now we're going to go one. So we're counting this stitch as one. And the next stitch is two which will be increased. Okay. And you can do, I'm just going to do a, a, a um, slip stitch here. Okay, so that is round three. Looking like a little nice circle. Okay, so we're in round three. And actually, before we finish this, I'm going to take out a couple stitches here. I'm going to take out two stitches. Okay, now, we're going to make the ears here on this. Okay, so we're going to make the ears. We want the stitch to be larger. I'm not going to do a double crochet. That's, that stitch is going to be too large. So I'm going to do a half double crochet, which is abbreviated HDC in US terms. It's a larger stitch than your single crochet. So we're going to wrap our yarn, find our stitch, and put our stitch through our, put our crochet hook through the V-stitch, wrap, pull the yarn through the stitch. Now we have three loops on the hook. Now we're going to wrap and pull through all three stitches. There's our little ear. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do this stitch here with a half double crochet as well. So we're going to just wrap our yarn, put it through the stitch. wrap, pull through our stitch, now we have three, and we're going to wrap and pull through all three. Okay, now we got our cute little ear. Now the next stitch, which is actually the first stitch, we're going to slip stitch. Or, you can stitch, do a slip stitch here, depending on where your first stitch is. Okay, so I'm going to do a slip stitch. There we go. So we now we have where our, a cute little ear, you can see how that sticks up a little bit more than the other stitches. Now, if you don't like the, the way that that looks, 
you can always do try a, a um, double crochet. Okay, so now we are at the beginning of the fourth row. We're not going to go far. We're going just going to finish this ear here. So we're going to do that at about right here. So we're going to do a single crochet here, which would be the first stitch in round four. Okay, and then we're going to begin our, our um, half double crochet. So we're going to wrap, go through the stitch, wrap, pull through your stitch. You have three, wrap, and pull through all three stitches. And if you don't like the way that this looks, you can always block your yarn to give it that cat ear shape if it doesn't work. And then we're going to shape the circle like that. Like this, we're going to shape the face so it's not so round, but a little bit more oval like this, but moving around a little bit, pulling on these ears a little bit to make them more shaped. And there you got your, your little cat. And then um, we're going to go into this stitch. next stitch and we are going to do a slip stitch and we're done with that now now i did an extra stitch here and i have it a stitch going downward and the way that i did that is i took my material and i went like this and i pulled it through into this bottom stitch and that put one stitch down that even gave it a little bit more um made it up higher and made it more distinguished okay and then see how i, I did that stitch in, down here okay and i'm just going to pull this back and we're going to knot it maybe we'll try some pink here see how that looks Maybe a little pink hair, a little pink hair. I started some embroidery. I made a little ear here. It's a triangle. It's not a Danish knot. I felt that the Danish knot was not appropriate for this. So I just took some pink yarn, very thin, the thinnest pink yarn that I could find, not embroidery thread. And you're just going to make a knot at one end and you're going to thread your needle. The needle that I'm using is um, what I use for loom knitting. It's this one and thread it through the eye. So in order to make this, I began by doing the bottom triangle first the bottom part right here so i'm inserting it like this and knowing that this is the corner of the ear so we want the corner like this corner here we want this corner to be in the same direction as this corner so first we're going to start with here on the bottom right here. Okay. Now we're going to go down. And we're going to go, and we're, what we want is a straight edge. Straight line. Okay, so now we have that. Now we're going to go K 
Okay, we're gonna go up. We're gonna find that point in the ear, which is about right here. Make sure it's even with this ear, this side of the ear, as much as possible. And then um, we're gonna go right through like this. We're gonna go down here like that. So we have this and we have this done. Now we want to get back to the point. So we're gonna go down here. And now then we can go up to here to finish this point. We're just making a simple triangle. So we have that done and then we're going to knot it and then we're going to do the nose the same way. Except for when we do the nose, the point is down. Like right here, we have the point going up. We're going to have a point down. So we're going to have the point down. And it's going to go like that way. So we're going to have a straight edge going across here and a point here. So I am going to knot this. Cut it. Cut the string. Knot it. And we'll do um, the nose. To do the nose, we're going to thread our needle again. And we have a knot on the back side here. Now, knowing that the point's down, we want a straight edge going across here. And we want to leave some room for the eyes. So you're going to want the eyes in between the nose and the ear. So you want to put the nose down far enough where you can put your little eyes for the bead. I pulled that a little too far. Okay. And then we're going straight across. Gonna go up and then you're gonna go this way or that way I'm gonna go this way to the right yes to the right okay now I'm gonna go back down to the bottom here where that point is And then we're going to go up to the top here. We've got a cute little nose. Um, not it. So I'm going to th thread this. I'm going to put the needle in first into the metal part here. OK. 
Okay, so we got the needle through. And we're just gonna put the bead through like that. Okay, we have a knot on this side. If you, if you don't like the placement of the eye, you can always take it out start again. I was, I did a lot of embroidery and I just did a, like a sleepy eye, which is just like the straight part of the triangle. See where you have the triangle right here and it goes straight? Well, if you just did that for where the eye is, it'd be a really cute little sleepy eye. So we have the little face done. Isn't that cute? Now we are going to whip stitch the little face to the body. So we're going to find our first stitch that I kept the stitch marker in and we're just going to stitch it. Now with looking at it, we can begin our, our whip stitch starting here and going all the way across to here. If we do that, it'll look like that. It will look like kind, kind of scrunched like that. Now, if you start here and you go across from here, you're going to have a little space here and you'll see the round part of the, of the, um, face. So that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start right here where my stitch marker is at. It's about right here. Actually, I'm going to go about right here. So you can see a little bit of where how that cute little round face is. So we're just going to work in the back loop here. We're going to work in the back loops. And um, if you don't like the way it looks, you can always redo it. Okay, I'm going to knot this. Now you might think, why aren't I working from the back side? Because I want to get a better look at this from the front while working on this. I mean, you could do the back if you wanted to, but I think it's easier to see it from the front side. So you're gonna make a little knot. And uh, with whip stitching, you're gonna be working in this direction, not back and forth. I do have a video on YouTube on how to whip stitch. It's a little more extensive video you want to see that if you have any questions on it or want to review I think it's how to whip stitch uh, a hat together and I'm whip stitching scarf together how to whip stitch um, granny squares together so I think I have about like three videos online on, on my page Tiffany's crafts on how to whip stitch Make sure that you get into the stitch, into the back loop. I'm doing it from the back loop so it doesn't show too much. I 
just like this material so much. It's so soft. It's kind of fuzzy looking too. It looks, reminds me of, of a cat or a little animal. Okay, that's about as far as I'm gonna go. Like this stitching, I think. Just keep looking at it while you're working on it. See how it lays. Like when you let go, how does that lay down, lay like that? See if you like that. Okay. I'm going to do it again because I have a little hole right here and I don't like that. So I'm going to pull, I'm going to use this stitch in here. Okay, that is just adorable. So to do the tail, I just took this material and folded it. Same material that I made the, the body and the face of the cat. Trim it. You could use pinking shears if you're concerned about it fraying. And then we're going to knot this part right here where we have the loop. Okay, so I'm going to be making my tail on the left side about right here and then I'm going to braid it so it's going to look like that pull this material through on the side one side knotted here and one side not knotted okay and we're just you're just going to twist it and make, and make it kind of look braided a little bit Not this end to here. I'm going to double knot that. 